Hi FIFO, it's me again Keith and welcome to my channel. And for today's vlog, we're going to discuss a very sensitive topic that is so trending right now in Facebook, Twitter, and in TikTok. As you all know guys, I'm talking about the cancel Korea thingy. Yes, we're going to talk about it. But before we start discussing about cancel Korea thingy, let's talk about Bella Porch and let's find out who is this girl. I did some research about the TikTok star Bella and here's what I found. Now, who is this Bella Porch? Bella Porch is a 19-year-old Filipino-American TikTok star born and raised here in the Philippines. And when she turned 13, she and her family moved to United States. And she also served the U.S. Navy for three years. Last April of 2020, she started doing TikTok and has now 18.7 million followers. Now you are maybe wondering how it all started. It all started when Bella Porch posted a video, a dancing video, that caught the attention of her followers, especially the Koreans. In her video when she was dancing, a lot of her followers noticed a tattoo on her arm, which symbolizes the rising sun of the Japanese imperialism. During World War II, the same with my country, the Philippines, South Korea was also occupied by the Japanese. For South Koreans, the rising sun symbol is traumatic and painful. Immediately, the video was bombarded by hate comments. The problem started when many Koreans judge the Filipinos as a whole, calling us dark-skinned, uneducated, poor country, ugly, and many, many more. According to Bella Porch, she doesn't know that her tattoo was offensive and promised to have it removed. She already say her sorry to all Koreans. So what's my take on this? As a Filipino, frankly, I was hurt by those discriminating words thrown at us. We should never tolerate discrimination in any form, especially racial discrimination. Both sides were hurting. No one's gonna win this fight clearly, so we must stop it. Instead of insulting one another, start understanding. 2020 is already a mess, so let's stop this. So instead of hashtag cancel Korea, Let's replace it with cancel racism, okay? And peace be with you all. Bye.